Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Odoo PyCharm template which help you to save your time in development process. So once we develop a module, also in the previous videos, we have shown you how to develop a module in Odoo by customization. So in all the videos, you can see I'm pasting the codes from some other modules and putting here in our custom module. So the process is taking consuming time. So we have to go out of the modules and we have to just copy paste the things and paste here. So let's see how we can save that time using this template. So here we will here we will add some predefined templates to system and which can help us to save the time. So first in this video we will see how we can configure this template and in this next part in the same video itself we will see how we can use that templates so in this screen you can see odoo pycharm templates this template can help you to develop odoo modules faster and and with no typing errors so that's it will help us to save the time and there is will not be any typing errors in it so first we will go to the installation procedure so first of all what you have to do is that first of all you have to download this settings dot jar file so i will add this link in the video description you can just click on the download button in the video description and you can just download the settings to jar so i have already downloaded this to my downloads folder now what i have to do is that before starting the video i just download this folder that is this download this jar file into my downloads and we will go to the next step that is go to file import settings in pycharm it and select the download the downloader settings to jar file and click OK in the dialog that appears. So now we will go to the PyCharm and they are asking us to click on File, File, Import Settings. You can see they are asking to go to File, Import Settings. Okay, we will do that. File and we will go to the Import Settings and we have to load the download file. So I will go to the Downloads folder where I have downloaded the settings.jar file. You can see this is the file I have downloaded. So I'll just click on OK. Select commands to import, please report the commands to import. OK. I'll click on OK button. Settings imported successfully. Restart PyCharm to reload the settings. So I'm not clicking OK at the moment. So if I go to the same screen here, restart the PyCharm ID, go to file invalid, invalidate caches, restart. So the system itself is asking to restart the PyCharm. So I'll click on OK. So the PyCharm will get, get restarted. So let's wait until the PyCharm get reloaded. So you can just download the jar file. Definitely I will add the download link in the video description. So you can just click and download from the video link and you can open the PyCharm, go to file, import settings and import the settings to jar file into the system. Also don't forget to do third step that is Restart PyCharm ID, go to File, Invalidate Caches, Bar Restart. So by default, my PyCharm is getting restarted, so I don't need to do the third step. So if you are not getting your PyCharm restarted, you can just go to go to File, Invalidate Caches, and Restart. So you can see here my PyCharm has got loaded. So you can see third step can be done from File, Invalidate Caches. Where is that? Yeah, we can have the options here. So I'm not going to do that right now. So that's all about the configuration. So the installation and configuration is done. Just download the settings.jar file, import it into the PyCharm. That's all done. So now we will see how we can use the same and save that time. So now I will go to the custom add-ons folder where we develop the OM hospital that is hospital management module. So first of all, I will start from the manifest file. So we have already got manifest file here. So I'll just control A and I'll just remove all the file, all the lines. Control A and I remove. So suppose if I'm starting, let's control Z. Let's start from a new module. So I'll just add a new module that is custom new directory. Test module. I'll give a name as test module. Okay, fine. So we are starting the development. So if we have just created a new folder, now we have to add the manifest file. So it's just the Python file two underscore manifest manifest again two underscore dot ui okay that's done so we have just created a new folder that is test module and we have created a manifest file so we have as we have created a manifest file we have to write things inside the manifest file so 
if we haven't installed this template that is Odoo Python template what we will do is that we will go to some other module copy the manifest file paste it here and we will do so now I'm come to the use of the Odoo Python template so if I need to add a manifest file you can see I'll just type Odoo manifest you can see a lot of suggestions are coming that is Odoo underscore manifest if you type Odoo underscore manifest and click on enter you can see you will get a sample manifest file all the key so you can give a name here back test module version not needed like a lot of rest of the things i'll keep empty and in just in the depends i will give base module okay that's done so you can see on clicking odoo underscore manifest odoo underscore manifest you are getting suggestions manifest file is done and i'll give a name test test module that's fine my first file is done now i have to create init file so i'll go to python file and to underscore init again to underscore okay so in file init file is done now we have to go to models let's create some models so i place python files inside the models folder and i will place all the view related files inside views folder so directory and i create a views so inside i'll copy this init file to the models folder where is paste button yeah you have the paste button here so that's done and inside the models folder i'll create a py file model.py model.py so from this init file from dot import models so models is imported that is this folder has been imported now from this init we have to import model.py from dot import model so that's done so inside this model.py we have to create a class let's create some test dot module class or let's create a model in the database so let's see how we can make it fast using our odoo pycharm template so i need to create first of all i have to import odoo so from odoo import so odoo underscore import click on enter so things are important now i have to create a new class here so odoo object odoo underscore object click on enter sorry it's not done click on enter you can see things got written here i will just access the indentation you can see new module name is given as new module dot new module and name so I'll give one thing i will just rechange this or i'll change refactor what is refactor yeah i'll just change the test module to new module okay that's done i just renamed the module name to sorry the spelling over mistake rename to new module so that's done and uh, inside the models we have created a new model if you need to change the model name you can just change it from here and rec name is given us name description is coming as new description so by default a name field has also get added suppose let's add few more fields to model you can just type odo underscore fields then you will get suggestion whether it is boolean field binary field char field date field like that you will get all the suggestion so i'll just first of all i will choose a binary field then i will choose a boolean field odo boolean then odo mini to mini field mini to one field mini to one that's done so we have added it so here you can see string is coming as empty so you can give the name as per your need test that's done test one and string string test two like that you can give a name co model restored users uses test three like that you can create in so this easily you can add a import you can easily you can import things easily you can add a class easily you can add a field now if you need to add a compute function or if you need to add an on change function like odoo compute you can see the template is getting added like this now if you need to add edit or on change odoo on change odoo method on change everything will come by default so by like this you can 
save a lot of time so if you check other available materials like odoo and score if we use object import method compute class manifest integer method create if you need to override the create method that's it and if you need to override write method you will have another suggestions so let me remove what i have added so click on odoo sorry odoo and score write inherit object suppose if you need to inherit some object you can insert that so I'll just see object inherit and i'll just adjust indentations you can specify which module you are going to inherit suppose if i am going to inherit restored users i can space give the name here so like that you can make your time easier and save many times during the development so that's about python file now let's go to the xml file and see what we can do there so now we'll create a new xml file that is view.xml okay inside the views folder we have created a view.xml now let's add a you can see sessions are coming xml version encoding utf8 so that's done now we have to add order tag so now suppose inside this we have to add a menu you can just type odoo underscore menu odoo underscore menu menu root is done so that's done and if i add to add a sub menu under this menu you can type odoo menu action menu item action so you can see menu item you can give name you can specify parent action given now if you want to define an menu action odoo view action things are coming by default you can just change the adjust the model name and etc you can just type and change now if you need to add a search view odo search okay you can see search view is coming but yes, a template is coming now if you add to a, add a tree view odo tree you can see tree is coming now if you need to add a form view type odo form so that's done now if you need to add something like or let's see which all available variables are here so if you type odo odo tree odo sorry odo tree search view action menu item action form xpath attributes xpath menu item category security group everything button box every odo data declare queue templates everything is there form header suppose let's add a form header so i'll go to sheet and from here odo from header you can see header is getting added like that you can make your time more productive and you can save more time during the development case suppose if i want to export something or if i want to inherit a tree view odo inherit tree view you can see export expression everything is coming so if i need to inherit a form view odo form inherit odo form inherit like that you can just do everything more fast and easier so enough if you need to add a security group or if you need to create a new group so actually if you have to place all the security related files in the security folder but for the illustration purpose i'm just adding it here itself odoo security you can see odoo security group security category security rule first of all i will create a security category okay then i'll add a security rule odoo security group like that you can everything can be and from here now if i give the security rule that is ir dot rule like this everything can be done from the using this template you will get all the suggestion you can see we just we are by click just type odoo just we click but we are added this much file you can add we are adding a security category a security group a security rule a sample for inheriting the form view tree view and we have added a form view tree view search view menu action and two menus has been added using this template also we have created a python file that is model just type odoo underscore see the suggestion self with what you want so that's it how you can install and use odoo pycharm template so it has been contributed by muhammad Mahdi 
so if i scroll up you can see the author of the or we are downloading it from the muhammad magdi odo paycham templates so we have to thank him for providing such a beautiful template for odo paycham and which help us to save the thing so that's all about this video if you like our videos please like the videos and subscribe the channel and just press the bell icon for notification so that you will be notified regarding our new coming videos so that's all about this thank you